Are my neighbors stealing my Wi-Fi access? That's a very good question. And unfortunately, for hundreds of thousands of you, the answer is going to be yes. Unauthorized freeloading on neighbor Wi-Fi equipment is a very, very common thing. And it can lead to serious troubles with the law, both for you and for the abusers. What's that, you say? If my neighbors are stealing from me, I can have trouble with the law? That's disturbing, but true. If your neighbors are using your Wi-Fi while doing things that are illegal, immoral, threatening, or abusive, it will look to investigators like the activity is coming from you. And of course, the worst of the internet's crooks and abusers like that, and they almost always initiate their nefarious activities from somebody else's internet connection. Now, Wi-Fi can be set up to be quite secure, but it doesn't necessarily start out that way. If your internet service provider delivered your Wi-Fi equipment and set it up according to their standard policies, they've probably configured strong encryption. And it's probably safe. But you should make sure. If you bought your own Wi-Fi equipment from a technology retailer and use their standard set of procedures, it's probably not very safe. Because those standard procedures are generally oriented toward just getting you up and running. Afterward, you could continue with additional recommended steps to secure your setup, but it's commonplace for people to struggle with the basics. And if that happened to you, and if you're like most people, you were intimidated by the possibility of ruining a working setup, you might have been thinking, finally, I got it working. I think I better quit while I'm ahead. If that was your experience, then you probably left your Wi-Fi equipment unsecured. You are not alone. Surveys indicate that 20 to 30 percent of all the domestic Wi-Fi routers in operation worldwide are unsecured. That amounts to millions and millions of systems that are so easy to access that informal theft of their connection is almost unavoidable. If your Wi-Fi equipment is unsecured and you live in a large apartment building or have a lot of close neighbors, then there's a very good possibility that one or more of them is freeloading. How can you be sure? Well, we'll show you in this brief video clip. For starters, somewhere in your Wi-Fi setup, you've got a Wi-Fi access point like this one. You'll want to find it and refer to it as you work through the simple experiments described in this clip. It may be a separate little box or it may be combined into your router or domestic gateway device. It probably has one or more little antennas like these, but that's not always the case. It will have several little blinky lights, LEDs, that will flash periodically when it's operating. And one of these will have a label or icon representing Wi-Fi or wireless or WLAN or wireless activity. This is a popular one from Linksys. Notice the antennas, and it does have the LEDs, one of which is labeled WLAN for wireless LAN. There's another one from AirLink. Then this one from AT&T is also quite popular, but the antenna is hidden inside the case. We know that it includes a Wi-Fi access point because of the LED labeled wireless. Let's start with a brief explanation of these blinky lights, because if somebody is accessing without your permission, they can't avoid making these flash, and these blinky lights are going to be your first line of defense. The essence of our detection strategy is to know what the LEDs look like when nobody is using Wi-Fi at all, and what they look like when we are using Wi-Fi heavily. Then, we'll shut down all of our computers and observe those blinky lights for a period of time spanning our suspicions. If we ever see that heavy use pattern, when we know that all of our own computers are shut down, then we have proof, or at least very strong evidence, of unauthorized access. That would be a good time to look out the window, determine which neighbors are home, and ask them if their internet connection is giving them good performance at the moment. It's important to point out that there is no absolute standard for the behavior of the Wi-Fi blinky lights. Vendors use their own judgment to try to represent useful information to help you out. You'll need to watch the LEDs on your own equipment to determine what is normal for you. If you need help with this terminology, take a look at the video clips in the wireless networking section at AskMrWizard.com. As a general rule, you'll see LEDs associated with these functions. Power, WAN link, that could be DSL or cable, internet link activity, 
land link activity. It's commonplace for LEDs to flash into various states as follows. They might be off all the time. If an LED is completely off, it generally means that the associated function is not operational. It might be unplugged. Another option, they might be on steadily. If an LED is on steadily, that generally means that the associated function is on and stable and ready for use. They might be flashing in a simple, steady, regular pattern. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, repeating. A steady blinking LED generally indicates that a test is in progress or an alarm condition of some kind has been detected. You'll often see this during the first minute or so after power up, but it shouldn't continue for very long. And if you see this pattern at other times, it's probably trying to get your attention. You might also see flashing in a random pattern. And this generally means that data is flowing through the associated logic. It's commonplace for LAN and internet link LEDs to flash like this. Heavy internet use will cause a rapid but random looking pattern. You probably see occasional random flashes all the time because modern routers and operating systems tend to blather at one another on the LAN and across the internet several times a minute even when they're idle. You want to learn to identify the difference between periods of light use and periods of heavy use. There can also be color changes. Some LEDs can glow in two or more different colors and it is relatively commonplace to use these color changes to indicate various modes of operation such as high speed connections or low speed connections, etc. Now, here are some examples, a little video clip. This is an AirLink router under heavy use. Notice the rapid random flashing. Here's an AirLink router ready for use but with all the computers switched off. Notice things are pretty stable. Here's an AT&T router under heavy use. And here's that same AT&T router ready for use but with all of the switch, all the computers switched off. Now it's time for you to make your own observations and comparisons. With patience and careful observation, you can know for sure if your neighbors are freeloading on your Wi-Fi connection. If you are willing to dig deeper, it is usually possible to monitor all of the unencrypted traffic flowing throughout your internet connection, and that can help you determine which of your neighbors is stealing access, what websites they're accessing, and anything else they're doing. Even if they're working to encrypt their traffic, they will probably slip up now and then, and you can catch them. Take a look at other pages here at AskMrWizard.com for these details. It's easier than you think, and the required tools are available for free. Thanks.